the issue of adult use cannabis sales in Naperville is coming closer to a resolution. We spoke with advocates of both sides to get their view. Supporters of opting out recently hosted a forum at the Naperville Women's Club, where several city leaders gave their thoughts on why opting out is the right call. I'm of the opinion, and I think that it was echoed by, by our panelists tonight, that the money relative to the concerns at hand is really immaterial. We're, we're a big city, we're a strong city financially. The revenue stream that we're talking about is not worth the trade-off of the certain social impacts that are going to come with having these stores in our community. Residents were invited to listen to presentations by Dr. Aaron Weiner of Linden Oaks Behavioral Health and the Naperville Police Department's Chief, Bob Marshall, both of whom encouraged opting out. There was also time for a Q&A with the audience who had questions about the economic impact and how adult use cannabis sales will affect Naperville's image. After tonight, I think it would be important to look on how neighboring communities, it affects their government. City Council will consider the results of the non-binding citywide referendum when they vote on the issue of adult use cannabis sales in Naperville at a future council meeting. Advocates for Naperville's opt-in group recently gave us a tour of the 3C Compassionate Care Center and told us why they think the sale of cannabis should be legalized in the city. The facility has been in Naperville since 2016 and is the only medical cannabis dispensary in the city. Customers of 3C are vetted before they're buzzed in, then led into a room where they can purchase cannabis and paraphernalia. Green Thumb Industries, the parent company of 3C, believes if Naperville decides to opt in, Naperville could see tax revenues as high as $2 million. Last year when people were debating numbers, um, it really was quite hypothetical and people had to look to other states' revenues. Um, now we're um, more than two months into adult use sales in Illinois, so we, we do have those figures to go off of. Rollman said the additional revenue could be used to fund mental health and substance use programs. Crime rates relating to marijuana could also potentially go down, according to Rollman, if Naperville legalized the sale of pot. That also should help put illegal drug dealers out of business um, as more and more people convert to purchasing legally. Um, there's really less and less incentive for illegal drug dealers to look for business in Naperville. 3C officials said if the city does choose to opt in, medical users would still be their number one priority.